your home for minor league baseball. MLB The Show has coverage from the AAA West. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the Sacramento River Cats and the Reno Aces. It's baseball on and the now, show, and it's coming up next. Reno Aces. And now here is Donovan Solano, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. He's set, and the 2-2 pitch, and he fouls this one off. And just a chamber of commerce afternoon for baseball. 82 degrees here at first pitch. And this is lined hard to deep left. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. So now to the plate, Mauricio Dubon hit to short, fielded cleanly, throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. So now into the box is Jason Bossler. Working for the punch out and the offering. Off speed pitch, and there is strike three called. And boy, that zone that just got a bit larger. Two it. away. Joey. Runner in scoring Ball. position at second with two down. Ball. Get the target, right but this is low. Two and one. That's curveball, and he thought it was strike two. Instead, it goes to three and one. Peter Maris would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Hits this one hard the other way. Scooped up. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Next to bat will be Nick Heath. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Soft grounder left side. And there's one down now. So now to the play, Alec Thomas. No left field. Alec. One out, nobody on. And a half-hearted attempt that time as he broke the plane of the plate. It's a ball and two strikes now. And it's fouled away. Just inside, not by much. It's two and two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. In the air now, out to left field. Dickerson is under this one, and there's the second out of the inning. Up next, that Tristan English. First cuts first for him here with the bases open Tristan. and two away. English. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. And now, Peter Maris, as it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second inning. And he can't get out of the way there. So the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. Next, it'll be Steven Duggar. The 1-1 pitch. Hit on the ground to third. A dive. He's got it. Wow, the throw pulls him off the bag. So now here is Alex Dickerson looking to put them ahead early with this at-bat. One and two now. The count is one and two. On the ground to the right side. To second for one. Return throw gets him at first. It's a 3 6 1 double play. Now to the plate, Joe McCarthy. Runner in scoring position with Sukhan. Offers it that one a little later. It's two and two now. Two. 
hit on the ground out to short. Reined in. And a close play at the bag, but a good stretch by the first baseman got the out, and the inning is over. Paul Calhoun will stand in now. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Now the three and two pitch. He is swung on and missed. He got him. So the next to bat will be Jamie Ritchie. The catcher. Jamie. The 1-1 one, one home. Is swung on and missed for strike ball, number two. Strikes, Struck him out. And stepping in, Hildemaro Vargas will that attempt to put the ball in play the for a change base. here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the oh, inning. Yeah. In the air out toward right field. McCarthy is underneath this one as he tucks this one away to retire the side. So here now is the pitcher, Johnny Cueto, 9 1 and 2 do up. Here's the 1 1. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early balls, feel for his off-speed strike. stuff. Two balls and two strikes now. This is foul right side. English is over to take a look. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Donovan Solano. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. And that's been their only hit so far in this one. They've been dealing with some really great pitching in this game. Uh, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. Mauricio... Two yep, and one. Went out. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. All even now, two and two. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two-out base runner. Jason Vossler. One and two now as that one's fouled off. He's set, now the pitch. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off-speed pitch in the dirt. Fouled off. Third inning, no score to this point. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Now it'll be Drew Ellis as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The 1 1. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. Here comes the 1 2. Looked at for ball number two. Line to the right side. Ah, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a tough first out. Striding in is Geraldo Perdomo. Down low, two balls and a strike. He's fallen behind now, three and one. 
You know, when you haven't gotten a guy on base yet in the entire game, a three ball count kind of feels like a little mini rally. Let's see if he can get on. And he looks at ball four now. So he's aboard, and you always have to worry about the threat of a steal when he's on base. The 1 1 is going to be a sacrifice attempt as he gets it down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Next up is Nick Keith. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Two and one, here it is. Bottom of inning number three. Nothing, nothing our score. Donnie's waiting on the breaking ball there and sends it to deep right field. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he's safe. Now back. The left fielder. Stepping in now, Alec Thomas. Nope, no back. offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Popped up. Solano has room in foul territory. And that retires the side. So up steps Joey Bart now. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 1-1 one -one is laid oh, off for ball right. two. Hey. Fastball is looked at for strike two. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called, one away. Now back. Stepping Second in three. once again is Peter Maris. He was plunked with the pitch in his first trip to the plate. Here it comes. Oh, up high, two and one now. Not where you want the changeup, but he gets away with it for a strike. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Now a fastball. Oh, strike three called on a pitch that looked inside. Instead, it's out number two. Up. Vargas moving to his left. No problem with this one, and the inning is over. Now into the box, Tristan English. He went down looking in his last trip to the plate. You know, Matty, tough to go down looking right there, especially in a long at bat. I kind of tip my hat to the fact that he didn't go into uber swing mode. He battled. He just got locked up. Look for him to have another quality A.B. I think he's seeing the ball pretty darn big right now. McCarthy has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Cole Calhoun, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. And indeed, the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first, and there are two away now. Next, here is Jamie Ritchie. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Hit well on the ground to first. He's got it, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Alex Dickerson. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Stepping up is Joe McCarthy. He's 0 for 1 thus far. 
Now the one and one pitch. Misses for the second ball. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches. Attack the strike zone early. A lot of deep. A dive and he knocks it down. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. At the plate now, Johnny Cueto got it back in time there, and it's 2-1. and one. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. And no surprise to see the pitcher squaring around as he gets this one down. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. So stepping in is Donovan Solano trying to bring in the tying run from third here. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Now batting. So stepping in is Mauricio Dubon. A potential tying run for him at third base. And that curveball here. Good pitch, but a better take, and it's to two and one now. And a big swing and a miss here. Two, two strikes. Two strikes. Boy, I love the way he's competing out there on the mound right now. He's got a chance to wreck back-to-back K's with two runners in scoring position. He's not giving in at all. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Hit out towards second. And the inning will end as they're unable to cash in with two outs. So here is Hildemaro Vargas as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Here's a blooper out toward left center. Dubon has it and there's one gone. Next to stand in is Drew Ellis. Hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Hit in the air to right field. Right fielder is on the run. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. The batter, number two. Now at the plate, Geraldo Perdomo. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. And the payoff pitch. Softly hit toward the hole. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. Into the box, Jason Vossler grounded out in his last at bat. Fastball called strike, one and two. Hey, this guy's done a better job than expected. He's made some bad pitches in the strike zone, but so far he hasn't gotten hurt by him. No, Lays off the one-two changeup, and he's worked it back to two and two. Fouled away. Mine to the right side. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. The back. The catch. Jerry Into now. the box now. Yeah. Joey Bart. Hit in the air down the right field line. On the move is Calhoun. And that will end up a foul ball. Here comes the one two. <laughs> Big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. Now Next up, Peter Maris struck out mm -hmm. in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got a bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Thomas comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number two. And that'll bring up Steven Duggar. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Now the 2-1 pitch. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at 2-2. Two and two. Hit in the air down the right field line. Calhoun on the run. And no one will track it down. 
the 2-2 one more time. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Dominic Fletcher is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. So a runner at first now with nobody out, and that'll bring up Nick Heath. One and one, here it is. Strike taken up in the zone. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even at two and two. On its way is pitch number 75, driven nicely into the gap. to their total as the run scores all the way from first. Now batter, left fielder, Alec Thomas. To the plate now, Alec Thomas. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder giving chase. He makes the play. Runner tags and heads for third. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. So no, next to bat will be Kristen English. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. English. And he nope. takes one off the inside. inside corner for ball two. You know, he was really pounding the strike zone early on, but he's kind of gotten away from that here a bit. He might just need a little reminder to attack hitters and trust his stuff. And he'll take out. it to the bag himself for the second out, but meanwhile, the run is in the score. Next, it'll be Cole Calhoun. He went down on strikes in his last at-bat. Yeah, but it was a good change-up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Two and two, the count to Cole Calhoun. Line softly toward the hole. Knee high, he barehands it. Touche, sir. Stefan Crichton is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 58. All set for the start of the inning. And digging in is the outfielder, Alex Dickerson. Always a tall task trying to rally back in the late innings, but I think this game could still turn quickly. A leadoff runner on base right here could be huge to get something going. Two balls and a strike now. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Get out of here, River Cats. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> Swing and a ball yanked down the right field line. And a perfect start to the seventh as this should be extra bases. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Now back, right fielder, Joe McCarthy. At the plate, Joe McCarthy. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with Ladies nobody out. Jalen Davis will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 49, Jalen Davis. Runners at the corners here, nobody out. Down the line and fair, that's a hit. In to score easily is the runner from third, and don't look now, they've cut the lead down to two. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. The third base, number seven, Donovan Solano. In now, Donovan Solano. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. And the second run will score as that evens things at three. 
Kevin Ginkle takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. Mauricio Stepping in now, Mauricio Dubon. High in the air and deep to straightaway left. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Digging in next, Jason Bossler singled in his last at bat. Possible go ahead runs on first, one away. Nope. And he misses again, ball three. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away yeah. free passes. Call the strike, and it's full three and two. And he fouls this one off. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Grounded to short. Oh, what a stop on the slide. There's one, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. The bat. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Joey Barnes. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Ready with the 1-1, one and one. and a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. And it's fouled away. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Silvino Braccio gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Number 61. Now to the plate, here is Jamie Ritchie. He bounced out last time up. One one. Is ball fastball two. taken high for a ball. Popped him up. Bart has a play. One out. Digging in, the switch hitter, Ildemaro Vargas. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Right side, but it's well fouled. The one two. Bases are empty, one man out. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Dickerson's under it. Two gone. Now to bat, Drew now Ellis. 0 for Third 2 here man. to start the afternoon. Drew. Fouled off. Two two, and here's a ball hit in the air, and foul. Well okay. above the letters with the fastball that time. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Matt Grace is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Jake Hager is into the ballgame as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Set and the 1 1 pitch. Sinker misses that time and it's 2 and 1. This is hit the other way out toward left field. 
Thomas has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Next to hit, Steven Duggar. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Scooped up. And there's out number two. Dickerson who came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something nope. in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB. To third. And he whips on it as this ball's right under his glove. Standing in now, Joe McCarthy. Hey, ball, too ball, much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. On the first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. Inning number eight set to go, and that'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Swing one and ball. a miss as he pulled two the strike. string on him, 1 and 2. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. And that'll get through into center. So there's your possible go-ahead run on base now to lead off the inning. Now for the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. Go-ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out. At the plate now, Jake Hager. And the curveball drops in on 2-1, two, 2-2 two and two now. Hey, that's just a nice get-me-over curveball there to steal a strike. I don't think he was looking for that one. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Next to dig in, that's Nick Heath, hoping to build off that RBI double from his last plate appearance. And he's got to build off that last A-B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. And a breaking ball runs in and gets it. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. Digging in will be Alec Thomas. One and one, here it comes. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in, and they get right back outside. Nice pitch. Ready to deliver the one and two. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Oh, and look out now. Back-to-back -back batters hit by the pitch, and guys don't take kindly to that. Base is loaded, and next to hit will be Tristan English, as he's presented with the bases loaded situation in a tie ball game. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Here's a fly ball well hit. The go-ahead run will score, but that'll be off the right field wall. It's cut off, so all three runners are in to score. Tyler Chatwood will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Mike Talkman will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. Fouled away. Here's another 2 2. Again, he sends it out of play. Three runs already home here.
high fly ball out to straightaway center. Duggar's there for it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. So next to hit is Jamie Ritchie. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Two out here and a runner at second. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. Tries to get him to chase the curve ball the way, but it breaks outside. Two and two now. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Another 2-2 offering, and he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Chris Davinsky takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. All set to start the ninth in this one, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Mike Talkman. They look like they're up against it here, down three on the road, trying to come back against a closer. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this will wind up being a foul ball. The 3 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. The third base. Now back to the top of the lineup. Donovan. Stepping in, Donovan Solano. He's doubled and singled in four at bats in this contest. And he fouls this one off. All even at two and two. Here it is. Fastball okay. well outside. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Goes down and gets it as this is bounced to short. On to first, and they're an out away. Two gone here in the ninth. Stepping in next, Mauricio Dubon, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. And this is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Hey, this was a pretty tightly played game. Got a little bit of everything in this one. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching, and defense in certain spots. This one was a fun one to watch. Six to three, the final score today. The Aces crossed the plate three times in the eighth, helping propel them to the win. Matt Grace pitches well enough to get the W, so that'll just about do it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshow.com. The final line score for our ball game. For the victorious Aces, six runs, four hits, one error. They left two men on base. For the River Cats, three runs on eight hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game: three hours and ten minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon, and we remind you to please. Drive home safely.